Here in the backyard from September to November, pairs of Australian wood ducks face the difficult task of rearing their chicks until they are fully grown. Though at this stage they are very small and are just beginning to learn about the wide world around them. For now they stick by their parents and will follow them wherever they go until they are old enough to leave on their own. Ducklings will spend up to 80 days with their parents until they are ready to leave. Their legs are tiny, but the best they can do is waddle awkwardly between them. When they're not on the move, it is time to feed, and the ducklings waste no time in grazing on the plentiful seedlings that grow on the top of grasses. Mother and father keep a watchful eye if something comes too near. A few weeks later and the ducklings have grown up very quickly, but they are still too young to leave the protection of their parents. Forming a straight line, they march onward. Their adult plumage has started to come through, but downy hairs still line the back of their head and neck. Though ducks are mostly known as aquatic birds, these ducks however prefer mostly being out of open water and instead prefer being around the fringes of the water instead of being in it. They mostly graze away from water and are often found in parks and fields grazing in pairs or in small flocks.
And in just a few short weeks, their downy plumage has almost completely disappeared, and they are beginning to look like their mother and father. Though it is still too difficult to tell the difference between the gender on the juveniles based on plumage, their mother and father have noticeable differences. Males have a much darker and saturated head, and have a mane on the back of their neck. Females, on the other hand, have a much paler head with noticeable white stripes on the top and bottom of the eyes, as well as a more speckled chest. The juveniles look like a combination of the two, and it will be a little while until they are fully grown and gain their adult plumage completely. For now, they are still young, and they have a long road ahead of them. Feeding is still one of the essential parts of life to them, so that they can keep healthy and have a chance at adulthood. And they will have to keep it that way if they want to maintain their strength. In the middle of the day, when the sun is at its hottest, feeding can come to an end. It is always nice to have a little snooze in the shade of a tree. A little stretch will do the trick just nicely. That hits the spot just there. A little tidying up is in order. When resting time is over, it is time to get going again, and all six ducklings have made it throughout the first few months of their lives. It is now time for them to leave their parents and carry on in the next stages of their lives.